So, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this historic day of St. Clair College Alienware Gaming Lab grand reopening, since we've already had one, and ribbon cutting ceremony. My name is Amar Singh, and I am the Chief Information Officer and Chief Information Security Officer for this college, and I will be the moderator for this afternoon. St. Clair College would like to respectfully recognize and acknowledge that it occupies the traditional, ancestral, and contemporary lands of the three Fires Confederacies territory of the Ojibwe, Ottawa, and Potawatomi nations. We acknowledge that many other tribes and indigenous nations that call this beautiful land home, we give thanks to the land and surrounding waters for sustaining us. Thank you. So why are we here today? Um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a, a history on how this uh, kind of came about. Um, it's, it's kind of interesting. About 15 plus years ago, we used to have an open lab kind of where this is situated, 300 computers. And uh, my staff came to me and said, hey Amara, we're seeing something funny on the network and something funny on some computers in the open lab. And I'm like, okay, so what is it? Can you guys investigate and let me know? So they came back and they said, yeah, we found out. There's about four or five students that installed games uh, on the machines in the open area and used VPN tunnels to uh, play, these, play those games. So the college had a policy of not installing software that wasn't approved, yada, yada, yada. So I had a decision to make. And I will tell you, I'm not a gamer. I can barely play an Atari game, but... Uh, so I really wasn't up to speed on these things, but some of my staff were. So I had gone to them and said, what do you think? What's, what's this gaming? I, I know I see it on TV sometimes. Is, is it getting big? Well, what do you guys think? And they're like, Amar, this is going to be big. This is going to be big business. We play it all the time. We, we don't go to sleep and we play all night. Um, so I had a decision to make and at that time I decided, you know what, I'm not going to go out and discipline the students or anything. What we're going to do is embrace this eSports culture and what we did at that point is went to the SRC. There was a spare room in the back corner of the open area and said, SRC, would you be okay if we bought X number of gaming machines and put them in that lab and said to the students, that's your gaming lab, don't install it on the other computers because it does disrupt the, the other computers, but we'll give you an entire lab just for gaming. The SRC loved it. We actually, even back then, we bought 30 Alienware machines and put them in that lab and had the students use that lab for, for their gaming and everything. That was the most used lab in this institution, period. There was nothing more, we had lineups to get into that lab. So just as that was a first, today is a first. This is the first Alienware gaming lab in Canada um, by Dell and Alienware. So thank you, Dell. Thank you, SRC. Thank you, St. Clair College Management. Thank you to my staff, the IT staff that did all the work. Wonderful. And that's why we're here today. So now what I would like to do is recognize some distinguished guests with us today. And could the following individuals wave or stand up, bow, whatever you'd like to do um, when I call out your name. St. Clair College President, Mike Slavagy. <laughs> Esports Director, Sean Byrne. <laughs> Alienware General Manager, Matt McGowan. Dell Canada Country Lead, Pam Peltier. <laughs> SRC President, Rishi Fatash. <laughs> Team Liquid, Fitzy here. <laughs> and I would also like to recognize a couple councillors from the city, Ronaldo Agostino <laughs> and Mark McKenzie. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I would like, now like to take Karen McKenzie. Karen McKenzie. Oh, sorry, John. You didn't give me that name. <laughs> I would like, now like to invite Mike Slavagi, St. Clair President, to say a few words. Thank you, Mar. 
and welcome. On behalf of the college's administration, it is a pleasure to welcome to faculty, support staff, esports athletes and fans, and students who have gathered here. To our long-standing and valued partners in this initiative, Alienware and Dell Canada, and to our friends from the media. Today's announcement of the updating of Nexus and the programs it houses is a microcosm of St. Clair's overall attitude. The best students, faculty, and staff paired with outstanding private sector partners. Coupled with the finest equipment housed in first-rate facilities, all equals the perfect academic and extracurricular experience imaginable. And it is truly a multi-part symbiotic arrangement of that nature. Like any sort of enterprise, you can have great people, but they, but they may not be able to live up to their full potential if they are functioning in facilities with less than state-of-the-art equipment. And the reverse is true as well. Exceptional facilities are wasted if the people within them are somehow lacking in expertise or dedication. From day one of our pioneering launch of esports, academic, and athletic programming at St. Clair College, we've had the best of all those elements. The administrative oversight and facilities development support provided by the Student Representative Council, SRC, the financial backing of both the college and our alumni association, brilliant faculty, knowledgeable and inspirational coaches, fantastically talented athletes, and enthusiastic students as both casual players and tremendous fans. And we've been best blessed from the outset too, to have the very best corporate partners we could have wished for, our friends from Dell Canada and Alienware. They're always, they've always had a profile here, literally from when our competitive griffins were first hatched in their tiny nest lab until today when we show off the new and improved Nexus. Hardware, software, advice, sponsorship, Thank you to Dell and Alienware for all of that. Thank you once again for joining us in this celebration. And again, I apologize, but not really, to all of the esports programs at colleges and universities throughout North America, perhaps globally. They will just have to continue to envy St. Clair College. It is now my pleasure to call upon our dedicated faculty, Mr. Sean Byrne, the gentleman who came to both the Student Council and the college's administration years ago with, in hindsight, the apparently not so crazy idea of launching an esports program. John. All right, so I had a, a super prepared speech and then I had the natural delivery speech and I was told, just keep it natural. So that's what I'll try to do and I'll probably miss a bunch of things, but. We'll see how it goes. I've got a lot of students in the crowd here watching me, and I always tell them. Okay. <laughs> what I teach them in class all the time, right, is uh, you shouldn't be reading off a of paper. So I've made that mistake before. We'll try to keep it a little bit more natural, and we'll see how it goes. But first of all, thank you, uh, President Slavaji, and thank you for the, the new presidential support that we're going to have into this new... Uh, new group of people running this college that, we've, uh, that we're a part of. Looking forward to that relationship. Uh, first of all, obviously, I just want to start off by thanking Alienware and Dell. Uh, we've been working with Alienware since the very beginning, as, as uh, President Salvaggi mentioned, even before I started working here. So a little bit of a background. Um, prior to working here, I worked in kind of private esports for several years, running events all over the province, 
uh, some into even to Michigan, as far north as Montreal as well. And uh, during that time, I, I was often employing students from St. Clair College, the IT club here at St. Clair. They've got students that know how to build a network, something that I didn't know how to do. My background is actually uh, as in biochemistry. Okay? I know nothing about tech or any of this kind of stuff. Uh, in hindsight, I definitely went into the wrong uh, undergraduate field for sure. But those students I was able to bring on, and right from the beginning, they were able to do stuff that you know, professionals in the industry were saying, that's not really possible. And then I was able to employ these St. Clair College students learning out of a Mars lab that he built back there on how to run gaming events, right? So uh, students have been a part of this right from the beginning. Um, now, even back, I don't even still to this day realize how this came to be, right? Amar mentioned it as well. Uh, we talked to some schools and we see headlines, the first gaming lab or whatever. Like we've had a gaming lab here since, I don't know what year, 2005 or something, like something crazy. The, the college has been so far ahead on understanding the value of what esports can be uh, for students, for the college itself, and for the community. So um, just a thank you to everybody that somehow decided to make that decision way back in the day because it, it led us here to this moment. Um, now, that lab was open originally, 30 computers in the back room. I remember coming in and it was tight and it was, and, you know, but it worked. And the students, the passion that I felt walking into that room, seeing the students play, hearing them communicate, that really kind of convinced me, like, there's something here, there's something in this. You know, I've been a gamer my whole life, but seeing that and understanding it um, allowed me to really think about these things on a whole other level. You know, so um, from there, though, we needed a bigger home, and it took a long time. Uh, for a while, we've got two rooms over here that uh, Mr. Savaji referred to as the nest. Small rooms, I don't even know what the square footage would be, maybe 800 square feet or less. Um, and somehow we made it work, winning a lot of championships out of those rooms. And always it was on Alienware machines, right? So you can see some of our early banners up here, 2019, 2021, working out of those small little rooms. Um, but it was enough. It gave us what we needed to be successful. And now we're looking forward to seeing what we can do with this wonderful facility, something that every school in, in not only Canada, but really in the world is envious of. To the point now where we are getting recruits coming globally to our school. We've got this semester, maybe there's a few here, we'll see. We've got players from Germany, we've got players from the UK, we've got players from, uh, you know, from the US, we've got players from South America coming here because we are building things properly. We're building an esports program from the ground up that's holistic, that appeals to everybody in any different part of esports, whether it's varsity programs, academic programs, uh, broadcasts, marketing, content creation, we're trying to appeal to everybody. Um, it, all, it all stems though with the competition. One of the big things we ran into the last few years, we sat down and we were winning championships, but we've got some competitors down the road up to 401 and a few other schools. And I remember sitting down with our former president, um, uh, Patty France, and she asked me, what do you need to stay ahead of them? And I said, we need equipment. We need, we need the top of the line equipment to make sure that our athletes have what they need. And the way to think about it, like I know there are a lot of people here obviously know what esports is and everything, you know, if you want to perform at the top level, you need your equipment to perform at the top level as well. Just like a basketball player needs the top of the line best shoes to compete. Just like a tennis pro is going to have, you know, a several hundred dollar racket. We need to have those things for our players to utilize. And Dell and Alienware are able to provide that. And we're looking forward to seeing what we can accomplish. We've got, you see six banners up here on this side. We've got uh, six other ones that are gonna, gonna go on this side. And we're already discussing like, what are we gonna do? We're, we're out of space. We're gonna have to figure out how to condense these things because we're just winning a ton of championships at this point. And I think now with this facility in place, this was one of the things we were worried about was you know, these other schools are gonna catch up if we don't find a way to fix this problem. And, and Alienware and, and our IT department here at the school uh, and, and the SRC especially have, have really come on board to help us solve that problem. So I'm really looking forward to what we can do in the, in the upcoming years. Now, competitive uh, comp competition, this is just one side of what we do. The other part was in 2019, we launched our academic program. We were the, one of the first schools in the world to launch a program like this. It's the Esports Administration and Entrepreneurship Program. The idea with this was, I didn't want students to have to go through the struggles I went through. I mentioned before I was a biochemistry major. That did not do me any favors when I was trying to figure out how to run esports events and build budgets and floor plans and all of those kind of things that I needed to know how to do. And so when I got tapped on the shoulder um, to develop that academic program, I started thinking, okay, 
if I was to restart and enroll in a program that this time actually worked for me, what would it look like? And I, I had the opportunity to do that. And I think we've done a pretty good job. There's a lot of work to go. I'm not super happy with exactly where the program is right now, but already we've seen some tremendous success out of it. We've got you know, alumni here in, in the crowd that you know, have gone through the program and have jobs in the industry now, something that most other schools would, would love to be able to say, but can't. Um, and so that's, it, you know, the proof is there. It's possible, we've got work to do, but I'm happy with where it's going. And the idea behind that program was, what, how do we equip these students to go out, not just to compete at a high level, the varsity program accomplishes that in a very good way, how do we prepare students to go and you know, run a broadcast or run events or work in partnerships or manage teams? How do we get those skills into our students' hands? And I think we're, we've done a really good job at doing that. Um, generally each year bringing in about 50 students to, to learn from us and not only Canadians now either, not only Windsor Essex County, I think if we were to compare the data, like we're, we're above average in terms of bringing students from outside the local area because they want to be a part of this environment. And at the end of the day, one of the big selling points is this facility that we have here um, that, that draws those students to this campus. Now, let's see where I wanna go here next. So we've got the varsity side and we've got the academic side, but really, if you wanna think about it, where this all began was the community side, right? Even prior to our competitive teams, we had students, as Amar mentioned, lining up to use that lab. We've taken that to a whole new level with this facility. Um, Nick is around somewhere. If you talk with Nick, he'll give you the data. Thousands of students coming in here each month to utilize this facility. Many of them, I would say, argue most of them, not on a varsity team, not in the academic program, but they want to be a part of this, this community that we're building on campus. You see the students here all lined up. Uh, all part of this community, and it's, it's really become a home for a lot of students to come and, and, and be a part and feel like they're a part of campus. I know as a student, not at St. Clair, at a different school down the road, um, I was a commuter student, and I never really felt like I had that attachment to my school. You know, like I went to class, did my work, got in my car, drove home. You know, um, but I think what we've created here is this environment where students are more willing to stick around and feel like, there's something to buy into, something to support, um, something to be a part of. And, and that's what I, I think overall, you know, the varsity success, the academic success, those are great. But at the end of the day, that community part has been the part that I, I really love the most and I think is what is creating the most value for uh, students here at St. Clair. So I think that covers kind of the stuff I wanted to talk about. Natural delivery, I think I missed half of what's on this paper, but we'll, we'll just go with it. You can come chat with me after. I love chatting about these things. But I just wanted to uh, finish off just one more time with thanking you know, the SRC, St. Clair College, and of course, Alienware for their continued support of our programs. And we're looking forward to a tremendous amount of success moving forward. So thank you. And next I'll invite uh, Matt McGowan, director of Dell Gaming, to the stage to provide a few words for us as well. All right, Sean's going to be a tough one to follow. Um, but I just have to say, this is absolutely incredible. I mean, look at this space. Uh, this is the sixth one that I've done, and it happens to be the first in Canada, which is excellent. But the space that you guys have built here is absolutely state of the art. Um, I haven't seen anything like this. Uh, basically, the ones that we've done have been half of this, a third of this. So your all's commitment to this shows just by nature of the build out. And so for that, I'm very impressed uh, to start off. Um, you know, St. Clair has long demonstrated uh, leadership in this space. Um, as evidenced by the space, but also evidenced by the curriculum that you're putting together around esports, the absolutely competitive varsity teams that you have um, generated out of this, the recruitment, uh, and it's home to the largest esports arena in Canada, which is also extremely impressive. <clears throat> Uh, 
So I just want to say, you guys are setting the standard for what excellence looks like in esports in the collegiate setting, and I believe that the other universities are taking note. Um, so the opportunities within esports go beyond just having fun and playing games. Um, this lab is a space to train the athletes, obviously, but we believe it opens the door to career paths that extend much broader than just athlete development. Um, you know, this is an industry with a broad set of skills that go just beyond player development uh, that you would find in any large enterprise. And that's why we're very passionate about partnering in something like this uh, with, St. Clair, with St. Clair and the SRC. Um, our hope is that this space inspires creativity, teamwork, and innovation. Those are things that have been core to Alienware um, as I've been a part of it, and I'm happy to, that you guys have the same values. Um, so let's, let's talk about the equipment. You guys have the state-of-the-art gaming equipment. You have desktop PCs that we've built um, in conjunction with Intel. It's absolutely state-of-the-art. You have Alienware displays, which are absolutely state-of-the-art. You have client peripherals that are state-of-the-art. You have the best of the best in this facility, and you guys should be really proud of that. Um, so it's fantastic. I, I love seeing it. Um, obviously, these are designed for e with esports in mind, but they're great for content creation and a lot of the other career paths that we mentioned that contribute to the esports industry. So once again, I want to thank everyone who made this possible. Uh, we're excited to see what the students of St. Clair will achieve with this incredible new space. And now I'd like to introduce our Dell Canada country leader, Pam. Matt and I work for the same company. We've both been at Dell for uh, 24 years. We met today. Uh, what's interesting is half the things that Matt said are on my, yes, nicely prepared speech that I was planning on reading. So what do I do now? Uh, I'm still going to read it. Um, I, I'm not as good as you are. But uh, I do want to start, before I even look at this, um, with a thank you. I am looking at all of you amazing students. This has got to be boring for you, I'm sure, hearing all of us speak, but you are engaged, you're leaning in, you are clearly passionate, and that's what uh, is so incredibly important. And I will leave here and go talk to my 19-year-old and 18-year-old uh, son, and I will actually be kind of cool tonight when I tell them about where I am today and what I'm, what I'm getting to do. So awesome, awesome to see all of you here today. Our partnership with St. Clair College, our friendship for many years. Um, I can't thank you enough for everything that you've you've done to, to make this possible. We spoke about it earlier. It is not easy. I know from an administration perspective, this takes a lot. It's a lot of red tape and a lot of work that goes behind this. But uh, transforming those you know couple of machines to this is just nothing short of impressive. And getting all of the students involved and you know the support of the SRC, I, I, I can't thank you all enough. Our partners at Team Liquid. You have been phenomenal partners along the way. I think we have great synergies. I'm so excited to continue to work. I don't know if anyone's here from Intel, but Intel's a phenomenal partner of ours. We couldn't have done this without you. Finally, um, the Dell team. There are many of the uh, Dell team members here today, our amazing uh, folks, our marketing folks, our support folks. Thank you. Um, it absolutely takes a village to make something like this happen. Um, but one person, stands out. Um, when she came to me a number of months ago and said, I want to create an Alienware lab in Canada, the first in Canada. Yes, we'd created some across the globe, um, but they weren't thinking necessarily about Canada. And uh, this person put her, oh, and by the way, she said, it's going to be at St. Clair College. And I said, yes. Um, but she put her blood, sweat, and tears into making this happen. Just an unbelievable effort, pulling everyone together, and as usual, taking an idea and making it happen. Katina, can you please stand up? I just, everyone needs to thank you for everything that you do. Just, truly, you are amazing, thank you. Okay, so now for the boring stuff. It's an absolute pleasure to be here with all of you um, at the state-of-the-art the uh, sports arena here at St. Clair College. 
um, this is a significant milestone, um, as I said, in our shared journey towards fostering innovation, collaboration, and excellence in the world of esports. Does that sound familiar or what? <laughs> um, at Dell, our vision has always been, um, you know, to help people reach their full potential and to enable human progress. And I think what we've accomplished today, what we set out to do, what we've accomplished is a huge step towards meeting that goal. It's about creating these immersive experiences that bring people together, uh, that challenge your minds and inspire creativity. This arena is a testament to our, our continued commitment to this vision. It's a space where you can get together, where you can learn, grow, and be gamers together or as individuals. Esports is more than just playing games. It's a powerful tool for learning and development. Through esports, students can develop critical skills like strategic thinking, teamwork, communication, and problem solving. These skills are not only essential for, for you at school, but as you enter uh, into the future, um, the, the, the job market, by participating in esports, you're preparing yourselves for future careers in a variety of fields from technology to engineering, to business, to marketing. Our commitment to education and innovation, innovation drives us to continually push technology limits. We aim to create inclusive, immersive experiences that bring people together from all walks of life. This arena is more than just a gaming space. It is a community. It is a community where students can foster those connections and inspire one, one another and work together. We believe that through gaming experiences, we can enrich lives and connect communities worldwide. So thank you once again uh, to St. Clair for this partnership, for this journey. We're so excited as we open the doors to relaunch um, the, the Saints gaming space. Uh, we, can we can embrace the spirit of innovation and collaboration and hopefully this will inspire and connect you with others who share your passion. Let the games begin. Thank you. And now I would like to announce and introduce you. No, I guess I'm not introducing you, right? Because most of these people know you. But I'd like to introduce our next speaker, Rishi, who is the president of your SRC. Thanks, Pam, for the introduction. So ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, and passionate gamers, on the behalf of St. Clair Student Representative Council, I would like to formally thank you all for joining us today to celebrate the re-grand opening of a new and improved Alienware Gaming Lab. This is a momentous occasion, not just unveiling of a new venue, but the realization of a vision shared by so many. I want to thank, I want to thank to Dell Computers, Alienware, Alienware for their incredible support in, in, in upgrading the Alienware lab. The lab has been always a great space for students, but with the new Alienware equipment, it's better than ever now. We're excited to see how this upgrade will enhance the gaming experience of our, of our students. I will also thank the senior administration at St. Clair College for their constant support, which made this facility possible. Their dedication to our campus community and their investment in esports shows their forward-thinking leadership. Is a heartfelt thank you to our Nexus Esports and SRC staff team who worked tirelessly to bring this dream to life. Your dedication and your creativity has transformed an idea into a space where countless memories will be made. And of course, a special thank you to our gamers and fans who, made for, who inspire us every day. This space is for you guys, where your skills, passion, and enthusiasm will truly shine. Here's to thrilling victories, competitions, and a vibrant community. Welcome to a new hub. We are looking forward to see how this upgraded lab will make the student life more exciting. Thank you, guys. Welcome. And now I will welcome on the stage our person from Liquid, Vinci here. All right, these people are way more important than me. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, so I'm from Team Liquid. Um, I am a content creator, if you don't know who I am. Does anyone know who I am out there? 
Okay, so anyways, so um, I uh, make content on Twitch, on YouTube, uh, gaming, of course, um, and I've been around a while. Um, back in 2011 is, I mean, I've been gaming my whole life. I don't, I don't know, I've always been gaming. I don't remember what my first game was. I was probably on the NES. Um, and my first gaming computer that I bought was a Dell, as I just said. Um, it was to play RuneScape. I had to, I was getting kicked off my parents' PC because I blue screened it. I don't know what I did. They were coming home, I had to turn the power off and I had to blue screen it. I, they couldn't see me up that late. Um, so I've been doing uh, professional, or I, well, in the scene and whatnot for uh, a, a while. Uh, I've kind of seen it evolve a lot over the years. Um, 2011, I played StarCraft II. Any StarCraft gamers out there? Anybody? Anybody? Yeah, I see one back there. All right. Zer what main? Zerg? All right. I was a Zerg, so, you know. Um, and did the pro scene a little bit. Um, and at the time, you know, Team Liquid was like, that was the team to be on. Um, and I wanted to do a little, you know, when I went into college, I knew what I wanted to do. It was play games and stream, because streaming was kind of just coming out. Um, but it wasn't all there yet, you know, the, the environment that we're in now, where it's kind of a little more financially feasible, uh, wasn't, wasn't quite there then. Uh, so I had to take a little break uh, to come back around um, and focused a little more on content creation then. And then I reached out to Team Liquid and I was like, hey, let me, let me see what we can do. And I've uh, been with them for about a year, just over a year. Uh, but to see this facility here, like when I competed in college, I was on a laptop and I specifically, I was just talking, I just specifically avoided parts of the map because my computer would lag. Because it, so I was, I was losing advantageous situations to, to be able to play. Um, so to be able to have the top of the line stuff is so cool. Um, and also to just be in a space that is shared with other students, um, to be able to play games with them, um, not only as like competition wise, like how you can improve to compete, but also to just find friends. Um, it's very cool. Um, and that it's like right attached. I, I think it's really cool that it's like right attached to, I mean, the cafeteria is like right over there, right? Where someone can walk by and be like, What's going on in there? Oh my gosh, let me let me come stop in and see what's what's all this gaming about. You know, it's not just this like oh, there's gamers. You know, um, it's a little more mainstream now. So yeah, it's very cool. Um, so excited to to be here. Thank you for having me. And of course, uh, Dell Alienware and uh, Sinclair College. Very cool. Thank you for having me. But yeah, you guys need to round of applause for this facility because. Again, so cool to not only just have like the computers to do stuff, but also you know you have the broadcast room over there. The fact that there's a stage, um, and like all of the stuff. You know, I, I got the little tour and the, the audio stuff back there. Very cool. Um, again, I went into more content creation um, after the esports side. Um, so having all those different avenues that you can kind of decide which route you want to go, and options are there. Very cool. So huge shout out to again. Dell, Alienware, and, and St. Clair College, so. I don't know if I'm turning this over to anybody else. Am I, who's next? I don't, <laughs> that's up to you. Thank you, Fitzy. Thank you for all of the speakers. What some, that was some great uh, speeches, and, and you can see the passion that we have here at the college, not just for eSports, but today's eSports, but for everything we do in this institution, we're very passionate. So um, this concludes the kind of, you want to say the boring part of the, the event. Now we're going to get into, over the next few hours, uh, there's going to be some events. Uh, Team Liquid is going to do an event. There's going to be draws. I believe there's a laptop up for, for a draw to, to be won uh, and things like that. But before we do all that, we're going to do the final piece and the ribbon cutting. So if I can invite everybody up to do the final ribbon cut, and that'd be great.
All right, thank you, everyone.